everyone welcome back to another video on my channel so today i'm doing a sit down um nail art chatty video because a lot of you have said that you really like them and yeah i just thought it'd be nice to do something different and a lot of people have said like when i ask on instagram what i should do you've said like oh why don't you do something out of your comfort zone and as you all know green is not really my comfort zone so that is perfect for me to do something different with so we're going to do some camo nails today um obviously you are going to know exactly what they look like already because it's going to be on the thumbnail it's a bit of a giveaway but at this moment in time i have no idea what they're going to look like but i do know that i want to make the most oh my god i can't open it there we go of using these peridot crystals because like i said i don't really do green very often so i thought let's just go all out crazy and just do a full-on green <laughs> Um, make the most of me actually doing some green nails for once so just go crazy and get as much green in there as we can and just do something different so obviously this is the foil that i'm going to be using in this set and then the peridot crystals as well and you can get this foil from sparkle supplies uk so what i'm going to do first i've just gone through my green items because obviously because i don't use green that much i genuinely don't really know what green things I've got so I've just been through my drawers and stuff turns out I actually have a lot of green glitter so you know I clearly buy things whether I think I'm going to use them or not so these are the two that I've chosen so serpent and hollow apple they are both from sparkle supplies UK let me just open them up so you can see what they look like so that's those two they're the ones that we're going to be using i'm going to use a mixture of the two i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with them in a minute so i'm going to be using commander from gel perfection this is commander it's just a plain dark green so first of all i'm going to do the full foil nail first because i basically don't want to make a huge mess with glitter for the first nail because then i'll be really really stressed out because everything will be covered in glitter and it will just really wind me up <laughs> So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to grab some tips for a start, pop a nail on them all. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to pop just one coat of Commander on this nail. This is going to be my full camo nail um, with that foil. So we're just going to do a quick full foil application. I've said it about three million times now, but it is super, super easy to get full foil application with Sparkle Supplies, this foil me gel. It is honestly really, really easy. You'll see in a second. So I'm just going to pop this one in the lamp. So just quickly while that's in the lamp, this is the foil gel that I'm talking about. I'm not going to go into great deal about it. Um, great deal of, uh, what's it called? Um, oh my God, what am I trying to say? <laughs> detail about it because i do use it in every single video that i do foils in which is quite a lot so i'm not going to talk about it too much but i'm just going to wipe off the tacky layer from my color you can of course do another coat of color it's totally up to you but because this is a display tip i'm not really that bothered um i'm just leaving it with one so i'm taking my tacky layer off the diamond glitters gel perfection colors don't tend to really have a very tacky inhibition layer anyway but if yours do like if you use magpie for example obviously i know that they have a really 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 tacky layer on their gels i definitely recommend taking off the tacky layer and then applying your foil gel because i've said it a million times i don't like to be repetitive obviously not everyone has seen every single one of my videos although i know a lot of you have so thank you so much to those people um but yeah if you leave the tacky layer on your foil gel can mix with it and then that is why when you come to do full foil it might not always work because basically your foil gel and inhibition layer have basically mixed together and means that the way your inhibition layer is your foil might not stick basically that was like the most long-winded description and i said basically about three thousand times but I just can't get my words out when I'm doing something. Is anyone else like that? I just can't. I can't do it. So anyway, I've just popped a, a layer of that on, making sure it's nice and even over the whole nail. And then I'm curing that for 60 seconds in my light. Um, it does say on Sparkle Supplies website, I think it's 30 seconds for UV and then double that at least for LED, which is confusing because most of the time it's the other way around, but you should always follow the manufacturer's instructions. If that's what it says, that is what you should do. 
Um, I have found that it works absolutely perfectly for a minute under my lamp, which is the Sun 5, and it also works for 60 seconds in the Magpie lamp as well. So that works perfectly for me. Also make sure that your placement is on point because obviously if there's not, if there's an area on your nail that the light is not getting to, then it's not gonna cure properly. So you need to make sure that if you're using these tips, if you put them in like this and your lamp's here, it's not gonna cure everywhere because they're too high. So just bear that in mind. So that's come out of the lamp now. I'm just going to use my stalk scissors from Tia's Beauty to cut off a bit of the foil. It cuts through these like absolute butter. It's brilliant. So now I'm just going to place this on here. And then I'm just going to push down the middle first just to make sure that's all nice and flat. And then I'm going to take it off the display tip and then hold one end while I rub the other side in and then I'll hold the bottom while I rub the top in. Just makes it a little bit easier when it comes to these display tips because if you're pushing down while it's on a, a what's it, um, a stand, it can, the blue tack obviously is not going to stick properly and it's just going to be really, really annoying. So I just find it easier to do it this way. And then I'm just making sure that if there is any wrinkles, I'm just smoothing them down and making sure they're all stuck. So once I've gone over the whole nail and I feel like I've put pressure absolutely everywhere, making sure you get the side walls and the cuticle area as well if it's a real nail, I'm then going to start to peel it off. I didn't even do the tip, probably should. So I'm just going to start to peel it off and if you peel it off in slow motion, this bit here that you can see here is obviously what is attached. So if you pull that bit off, hopefully there's a little bit just so I can show you but... I'm not sure if there's going to be no it's all stuck so if you pull that off and there's a little bit here and then you can see a little gap down here then you know that you can just pop it down and then just do it again so i am just going to hold it with the foil for a second because i don't want to put my fingerprints all over the nail especially if it was a client because you can rough up the foil a little bit that way so i'm just going to pop this back down like that and then oh, i'll put it on really wonky <laughs> Uh, let's just do that again there we go and then i'm just going to make sure that my sides are stuck down on this tip obviously you wouldn't really have this problem with a real person but that is full coverage foil super super easy and then all you need to do is just obviously this is a display tip so i will just top coat it once but if it was a client then i would base coat then top coat or top coat buff off your top coats a uh, shiny layer if it's a no wipe top coat and then top coat again but that is how easy a full foil is with uh, sparkle supplies foil me so next nail i'm going to be doing um obviously some more of this so i'm going to do that one now so again i'm just going to go in with commander from um diamond glitters and i'm going to pop that all over the nail this time i am going to be doing two coats so to get full coverage of this because i am going to be leaving some areas green so i'm going to be doing like a sort of patchwork effect on this one um, so some areas are going to be foil and some are not because I just thought it'd be helpful to show you how I do like partial foil application where it's still full coverage because the area that the foil is going to be is full coverage of foil but you're not putting it everywhere. Okay so this nail is out the lamp now I'm just going to wipe off the tacky layer again which is even more important this time because they're only doing the certain patches. You could also matte top coat here if you're really worried about it sticking to your polish, but I'm not going to do that because if it does, I will just have a quick tidy up um, with a nail art brush, so it's not a problem. So once I've got off the tacky layer and it's all nice and clean, ready for my application, I'm going to get my foil me. Now you can do this the smart way with a nail art brush, or you can do it the stupid way like me, and you can just use your actual foil me brush if you're lazy. So I'm just going to pop some basic patches of foil me. It is much easier to do this with a nail art brush. Well, I say easier. It's easier, but it's not exactly quicker. Um, so if you've got patience and definitely do it with a nail art brush, you can get your foil me exactly where you want it. You won't have to be really, really careful, but I just really cannot be bothered right now <laughs> to get that all going. So I'm just going to do it like this. I'm just going to have one in the middle there as well. Just making sure it's as neat as I can get it, which obviously, like I just mentioned, is not the easiest thing to do with the actual brush itself. 
So it would be much cleverer. Cleverer? Don't know if that's a word, but it would be basically a better idea to use an LR brush. But I am between clients and trying to do this relatively quickly. So that's that. And then just going to pop one up here. You can't really see it. That's the only problem with foil me being clear is you can't see it on camera very well, but it's all good. So as you can see where I'm painting, so it's fine. And I'm going to put one there. Make sure you're doing the coat thick enough so it's even, but you're not doing it really, really thick where it's not going to cure. Obviously you do have to remember that foil me is a gel and if it is too thick it is going to be an issue. So that's that. You can just about see where I've put the lines here. I'm going to pop that in the lamp and then we're going to apply some foil just to those areas where foil me is. Okay, so I am just going to apply foil me all over. Um, but I'm just going to focus it more on where obviously foil... No, I'm going to apply the foil all over. I didn't mean to say foil me. Um, I'm just basically going to make sure that I'm putting more pressure on the areas that actually has some foil me underneath just to make sure that it really is stuck in those areas. Obviously, this is going to, there is going to be bits that stick that I didn't want to stick basically because I didn't apply a matte top coat. Um, so if you really wanted to obviously make sure that you don't have that issue, then it would make sense to apply a matte or velvet top coat and then apply your see what I mean <laughs> so I'm going to remove these bits it's sort of useful when things go a little bit wrong because at least then I can show you how I fix it sort of thing um, but like I was saying this was going to happen was if I'd applied a matte top coat underneath it wouldn't have um, basically because obviously there wouldn't have been any sort of place for that to stick to <clears throat> so it would have been much better so I'm just going to go over those areas that I don't want with a nail art brush And that will just wear away at it. I am using my brush quite dry, which is why it's taking so long to lift it. But I have much more control over it when there's not. Um, I'm using uh, prep and dehydrate, which is basically isopropyl alcohol and acetone to do this, by the way. So, like I said, it's not really, really wet. So it's not going to be leaking all over the place which obviously is useful. So that's what I'm going to do for every single nail. Now, if you'd use your brain in the first place, unlike me, and just put a matte top coat down, that would save you all of this hassle. But this is what happens when you try and cut corners. It usually bites you on the bum. <laughs> but it's all good. So I'm just going to do this off camera, because obviously I'm just going to do the same thing to all of the areas that are stuck that I don't want to be. And then we can come back and do the next step. Okay, so it turns out I don't really need to do that because it's not actually stuck anyway. It's just it's just looking like it is. It's fine. So I can actually just basically, majority of it, take it off this way. And then I will just clean up with my brush afterwards. But super, super easy. Not as a nightmare job as I thought, basically. So it's all good. There we go. Okay, so that's what this one looks like. Now, you can obviously go in and outline that or do whatever you like to, like, neaten it up, but I don't actually want to. I'm leaving it like that because the whole point is it's camo and it's sort of untidy. So I've not cleaned it up too much and made, like, proper corners and stuff with my brush. I've just left it as it is. And I actually really like it. So I'm going to leave it like that. And then next nail, we're going to be using a, a mixture of two different glitters, which is these two. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to apply a coat of Commander again, but instead of curing it this time, I'm going to leave it wet. And then I'm going to pick up bits of the two glitters and I'm going to sprinkle both of them onto this wet layer. So I'm making sure not to apply too much too soon because obviously I want both colours on there. So I'm just going to get this. I'm 
I'm just going to sprinkle it. Hold on a minute. It would be a lot easier if I did it two-handed instead of trying to mess about. So I'm just going to sprinkle that over the nail just like that. My camera has absolutely no idea what to focus on right now because there's so much going on. But this is what I meant about making a mess. This is why I wanted to uh, get those of the nails done first. So I'm just sprinkling it over the top with both the glitters. And I'm just going to turn it over just to make sure we get everywhere. Obviously this is very messy. It would make much more sense to have a glitter catcher underneath to catch them but when have I ever done anything that makes sense so that is really really sparkly so I'm not bothered about covering like absolutely every single bit of the nail because like that's why we put commander underneath is so we've got a bit of something underneath to make it a bit make it match better so you can't really see it i'm hoping that when i've top coated it you'll be able to see the two different colors but it almost looks camo itself just with those two glitters which is really cool so i'm going to pop this one into the lamp so when that comes out of the lamp i'm just going to brush off the excess any that's not stuck now we'll just get into our top coat and obviously we don't want that so i'm just giving it a quick brush we'll then just quickly file the edges just to make sure they're nice and smooth obviously if it was on a client then i would but i'm not going to bother at the moment because i don't have a file near me and I'm super lazy, so that's that, that. So I'm just going to brush off all the excess, and then we will go in with a top coat. So you can either, obviously, apply two coats of top coat. You can base and top. It's completely up to you. Because this is only a display tip, and it's only a fine glitter, I will only just be top coating normally. But I am going to use super gloss, because it is thicker than normal gloss, uh, than diamond gloss. So it will even it out a little bit more than diamond gloss will. So this is actually all I'm going to be doing for this set. I've literally just decided just because I've just realised how long this video is going to be otherwise. And I don't want to do a whole two new designs on the other two nails because it'll be really, really long. So I'm basically, to finish this set off, I'm going to do another nail the exact same as this one. And then another full foil nail. And then that will be it. So we'll have the two full foils, the two glittery ones, and then we'll have our um what's it patchworky one on the middle nail so it's super super easy set like i said i don't have a crazy amount of time to do it because my next client will be here soon and to be fair i do really like doing these talk through videos they are my favorite type to do because i don't have to find time to voice over them but it's not always possible because if it's a really intricate long-winded design and i've done like five different nails that take a while it would be obviously really really long if i spoke through every minute of it so i'd rather not do that for all of the videos but it's nice to have a mixture so i'm just going to go and do the full coverage foil and another one of those glitter ones and then we can top coat them all together Okay, so I almost managed to totally forget that I was using some crystals in this set. So we're going to go in with some builder gel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the crystals. So I've actually, my other glitter nail is just in the lamp at the moment. I'm going to apply crystals to these two. Um, but this one I have buffed. So I applied super gloss like you saw on camera with you. And then I'm going to buff it basically and... Um, and then top coat on camera so you can see what it looks like because I don't know I just really like a smooth glitter nail so that's what we're going for so obviously like I said we're going to be using the peridot crystals they are much lighter than this design but I don't care I'm just using this opportunity to actually use some crystals because my clients don't really tend to go for crystals and especially not green ones because I don't have a lot of clients that like green so I'm just trying to find my picker up. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to go for the typical like large in the middle then smaller on the outside sort of effect. I think I'm going to make the most of using quite large ones for this. Mainly because if my, if my clients ever do have crystals they're never very big ones. So I'm just going to use them. I'm going to make the most of using larger crystals basically. That is what I'm trying to get at right now. Is that the same as that one? Do you know, I find crystals really deceiving. Like, I look at them and I just have no idea if that's the one I'm actually looking for. I'll place them properly when I turn them around because doing it upside down is uh, not proving to be very clever. But, 
it's all good I'm just popping those into the wet builder gel some people apply them to poly gel as well or aqua gel or whatever you want to call it um i don't because i don't really use poly gel and like i said i don't really use crystals either so there you go is that the same i think so right i'm gonna flip it round use the other side of this tool to place them one thing i don't like about these tips is that the tops of them are quite square so they don't really look like a typical cuticle area because they are very square but it's fine it's not a real nail it's not really weird for it to not be real <laughs> to be realistic because it's uh it's not real so there you go okay so they actually look a little bit darker when they're on the nail which is good i'm going to get them in the lamp before they slide around anymore and then we can sort out top coating i'm excited to see them all finished so that's the cuticle area fake cuticle area whatever you want to call it done <laughs> So with the glitter nail, I'll just talk you quickly what I did. I did gloss it basically with super gloss and then all I'm using is just this mini buffer and I've just basically buffed the surface of it just like this, just to get it nice and smooth. And if a client had had like a chunkier glitter of some sort, this is also what I would do in that situation as well. I would basically just put a thick, a thick top coat on or if you use magpie, something like give me strength um so i can obviously put a coat of that on and then afterwards i can go in with top coat and it'll be nice and smooth and shiny so that is what i have done here and then we can top coat them all at the end when those two come back out of the lamp so i'm just going in with the usual diamond gloss now instead of super gloss because i only used super gloss on the glitter ones to smooth them out a little bit more even though i ended up just going in with the buffing anyway but there you go <laughs> so isn't that a beautiful like i mean obviously i'm not a fan of green but i actually love that foil in in fact i'm going to go as far as saying i love any foil that that's what i'm going to say so i'm not sure whether you'll be able to see this on camera but it's actually obviously um, two different colours as you've seen me sprinkle but it looks really effective because we've got some darker and lighter patches which is basically like the foil so it works really really well now this if it was a design that wasn't camo I would have outlined the foil areas just to make them nice and smooth and neat but because it's camo I just think it sort of works to have it not really really neat so it's fine I'm gonna leave it but obviously you can do whatever you like. I'm actually quite liking these. I mean, I'm not going to go as far as saying that I'd have them. Um, because I still don't wear green. <laughs> There's no other reason for that for anyone wondering. Other than I just, I don't suit green. It's not my cup of tea. Obviously everybody likes different things. And green is not something I would go for. But I just thought it'd be nice to do something different. And I actually really like how these have turned out. So I'm just going to pop these in the lamp. And then I'll do my usual do a couple of clips at the end. But yeah, I actually don't mind them to be honest. So this is the finished look. I hope you liked them. Um, super, super simple design. You can see my bloody fingerprint on that end one now. Because I've just pushed it onto the blue tap for this. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.